A North County family grieving tonight after a 14 year old boy was stabbed to death in a street fight this week. Good evening, I'm Andrew Luria. And I'm Kathleen Bay. That family now has a powerful message for parents as police continue to search for the killer. Our Tony Shin is joining us live from Escondido tonight with more. Tony. Yeah, Kathleen and Andrew, as you can imagine, family members are simply devastated, but they are not the only ones. So are members of this tight knit Escondido community. In fact, I want to show you something. Take a look behind me. You can see this growing memorial on this sidewalk. People have been coming out here all day long, bringing flowers and candles as a sign of their support. He was a kind hearted soul with a bright future ahead of him. He was Caden Romo, a 14 year old boy who would have graduated from eighth grade this week at Bear Valley Middle School. He was extremely intelligent. Uh, he was very social. Caden's grandfather says their family is still in tremendous grief and also disbelief at what happened to him on Monday night just before eight o'clock. He says Caden was hanging out with friends on Wanick Road right around the corner from the family home when Caden and his friends ran into another group of kids. Some individuals that had been on the other side of the fence that uh, went after a couple of friends of his that he knew from school and they had a fight and somebody attacked him and stabbed him. He didn't even know these guys. No. Escondido police say Caden tried desperately to get help but collapsed only a few yards away from where he was stabbed. Paramedics tried to save him, but sadly, he was later pronounced dead at Palomar Medical Center. To try to process this, um, this is something that you never want to have or imagine this could happen to you or your family. It, it's someone snatched away a loved one. He was an amazing brother, and I would really love if he could have made it. Family members say Caden was not in a gang, and he had no enemies. They call him an innocent victim of a street fight. I work with uh, gangs and trouble youth in our city. Pastor Agner Medrano is a former gang member who is helping Caden's family during this devastating time. He says what happened to Caden should be a warning for other parents to talk to their kids about street violence. We as parents got to know who are the friends of our kids, who are they hanging around with, and that's important. That's key. Family members have also set up this GoFundMe to help pay for funeral expenses for a boy who should have lived a long life. It's got to stop, you know, some, something's got to be done about what goes on with this street violence in every city. It's not just Escondido. Right now, investigators are still trying to identify all of the people involved in that deadly street fight. If you have any information about them, call Escondido police. Reporting live in Escondido, I'm Tony Shin, Fox 5 News. Hopefully somebody out there has some answers for them. Tony, thank you.